Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm the Pink Moon Tarotist. I'm just looking for my lighter. And I'm here to do your February love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of Libra. So let's see what is in store for Libras. While I'm cleansing the area, if you would like to like, share and subscribe to my channel, that would be very much appreciated. Um, I will link all the um, love readings for each sign in the description box below. So if, if this one doesn't resonate with you, you may want to check out your moon, your rising or your Venus. And if you're a cross watcher, you can go and check out your beloved's reading as well. So without further ado, let's get into the reading and see what's going on. Now I'm reading from the Light Seers Tarot and I have a variety of different love oracle cards as well to go with it. I don't read reversals for love readings. Um, I will look at you, I will look at them and I will look at the forces between you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Ooh, and that wanted to come out straight away. So, what do you need? The tower. What do you want? What do my lovely Libras want? What do my lovely Libras want? The Eight of Wands. And, well, that's what you need. Sorry, not what you want. That one's what you want. That one's what you need. And how do you see them? Oop. The Three of Pentacles. Okay. And what do they want? The Eight of Pentacles. What do they need? The Ten of Wands. And how do they see you? The Lovers. And what are the forces at work here? The Three of Wands. Okay, so. Lovely Libras, it looks like you're wanting to shake things up a bit, like you might want some change, you want some sparks. And if you're in a relationship, it may be that you're feeling things are a little bit stuck, a little bit stayed, a little bit samey, samey. And you want that bolt of lightning to come and shake things up and change what's going on. If you're looking for love, it may be that you're fed up of being where you are on your own and you want that to change. Quite literally, you want the situation to change. You want something exciting to happen. You want something exciting to come in. And you need some movement. You need this to, if you're single, you need this to happen quickly. You're probably getting very antsy now and um, a bit fed up of being in your on your own if you've been on your own for a long time. Um, but it's also about that need for things to move in a more um, cross-dimensional direction. So not just not just things changing for the sake of change, but there is actually some kind of movement here that is needed for you. You're you're feeling like. Um, or some of you will be feeling like you just need to shake things up. You need to, to have a bit of fire in the in the relationship. And like I say, if you're single, then you're wanting that to come in quickly. You're wanting that to 
to change quickly. You want that spark. You want that ignition. Okay. And how you see them? You see them as somebody you can work with. Someone that you may be interested in someone at work if you're single. Um, you may be working with your partner uh, if you're together. But it is somebody that you... You see as someone who can cooperate with you and work well together with you. And that's nice. Whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship, it's nice to have that, that ability to work together, to be together. Now, what they need, they need things to be plodding on step by step the way they've been going or what they want, sorry, is things to, to just keep going and going and going. The Eight of Pentacles is knocking those pentacles out. It's taking things one step at a time, working hard. They need, they want to work hard. They want to, um, they want to work at the relationship. If you're single, then it may be somebody who is, again, someone who is connected to you via work that is coming in because this is the um this is the card of working um what they need is they need to put down their burdens we have the 10 of wands here which means they feel like they're carrying a heavy burden of some description but a 10 is a completion so it is time for them to put it down it is time for them to release that burden that they have been carrying. So if that is a partner in in that you are currently in a relationship with and they have been feeling like they've been shouldering the burden of work or they've been shouldering the burden of the relationship in some way, um, that's, that's probably on them rather than on you. But they are connecting it to you and you you need to remind them that they can put that burden down. They don't need to carry it alone. You're there to help them and to support them. Because how they see you is the lovers. They see you as their love. They see you as the choice that they made. They see you as the person that they want. And if this is somebody like say for some of you if this is a, a work relationship that's that's maybe got those sparks maybe you know wanting to take it a bit further perhaps they're somebody who is um in in a position of authority over you or you are of them and they're worried about how that will affect the working relationship they have a choice to make and I think they're going to choose you if they can put down the burden. So that's nice. That's nice. And the forces we have here are the three of wands. The three of wands is looking towards your future. It is, um, it is waiting for your ships to come in. It is, you know, it is that... That whole um, looking forwards and planning and thinking about where you're going to go next. So if you're in a relationship, um, it could be to do with taking the next step in that relationship. Um, uh, you know, if, if, you're, if you're wanting to get married, it could be about that, looking forward to that, to see if that's where you want to go. Um, it, it could be about looking to maybe move in together. It could be, um, <clears throat> it could be taking a trip together, you know, looking and planning a trip together. The, the Three of Wands, you know, it is your card of optimism and looking forwards, looking for those those things that you want to come in okay and I love this one because I always think you know she looks like she's going to jump on that surfboard and go and meet her destiny 
So maybe there's an element of that with, with you within your relationship. There's an element of wanting to, to jump on board and go for it. Um, and, you know, and that's great. If you are single, this is about you looking forward to to that to that future with that person now some of you will will already have someone in mind as i said some of you this is a work connection i get very strongly a work connection here and i get very strongly that that's complicated because of this 10 of wands but they are choosing you and you know, looking towards a future together. Okay, I like that. That's nice energy for you Libras. So let's have a look and see. I'm just going to move those cards out the way. Let's have a look and see what other forces are at work here. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognise the need for change. Mm. So you have the tower there, the, the need for change, and your partner, if you're in a relationship, has the taking things, you know, continuing things on as they are and just keep on keeping on. And you know, they need to recognise that there is a need for change in the relationship. And perhaps you could gently persuade them that there is a need here for some change. Um, it's interesting that, uh, that you have complete opposite opinions on the whole change thing there. It's very often the case. If you're single, um, you know, then then there may be things about your situation that you need to change or things about the way that you look at yourself or look at others that needs to change. Um, you know, if you've been in previous relationships that haven't worked out, you don't want the same relationship again. So look at those patterns in those relationships and think, you know, you know what you don't want, so what do you want? And manifest that. Okay, so we've got um, with your tower here, so what you want, you want to spend t quality time together and listen and talk to each other. So you're wanting things to change. They're wanting things to stay the same. So it's time to listen and talk to one another and really, really listen and understand where each other are coming from. Okay, what do they want? They want to focus on love, look for the good in everyone. Yes. Yes, make love the centre of it. If you're in a relationship, focus on the love that you have together. And that will help you when you're spending that time together, looking at your relationship and seeing what needs to change. Approach it from love, always with love in the heart. Okay, let's have a look at this eight of wands so what do you need oh joy <laughs> yes reflections in consciousness you need to feel like they're on the same page as you basically and that will give you joy if you're single that's what you want you want someone that reflects who you are who your inner self is who your higher self is you want somebody that is literally the mirror of you so that you can feel that joy together. And what do they need?
Passion, Angel Light. Yeah, they need to let go of that burden and enjoy some passion. You know, they need to get passionate about something again. They need to get passionate about you again. And um, really igniting their passion is going to be a way of helping them to release that burden. If you are single, then um, this person who's coming in is looking for a passionate love affair. Nice. Now let's have a look and see, actually, what are these? How do they, how do you see them? Oh, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So those of you that are single and looking and possibly got this work connection going on, or maybe it is somebody who has a different belief system to you, um, is from a different cultural background to you, and that's what's causing your hesitation, but you know you will work well together. Um, those of you that are in a relationship if there is um if there is a spiritual connection between you that will help you to to really connect on a deeper level and you know you need that and they need that um you know you need that that deep spiritual connection and that's what's going to give you the balance in the relationship. Okay, what about how they see you? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Mmm really nice to go with that lover's card so they see you as someone who it is safe to love and they want you to open your heart um to them and that so they can open their heart to you so if you're in a relationship and things are a little bit disconnected at the moment then you know opening your heart spending your time quality time together, looking at your relationship from a more um, deep perspective will help you. If you're looking for love, then this person that you may already be interested in is saying it's safe for you to love them. And they're hoping that it's safe to love you too. Time will tell. But do let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your stories on this. Um, if this resonated with you, do drop me a comment in the comment box below. If it did not, then please feel free to watch your moon, your rising or your Venus sign. I will link them all in the description box. Um, and I'll link your general February readings for each sign as well. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me to grow and to get these messages out to those that need to hear them. Until next time, have a wonderful February. I hope it is filled with beautiful quality time with your loved ones. Until next time, namaste.